Greetings, true believers. Stan the Man Lee here. Swipe through the screens, and I'll tell you all about these action-packed adventures, all narrated by yours truly. Here we have Iron Man, Armored Avenger. When the mysterious Mandarin begins stealing technology, it's up to the invincible Iron Man to stop him and his ten rings of power. Follow along to experience the first battle between those formidable foes. Then choose between three high-tech iron... Marvel Reads. Iron Man, Armored Avenger. Read by Stan the Man Lee. Tony Stark had it all. He was a scientific genius and a brilliant inventor. He was also a billionaire who owned his own company called Stark Industries. But Tony Stark was something more. Tony Stark was also the Invincible Iron Man. One day, while in Stark Tower, Tony heard a report that a rebel known only as the Mandarin had stolen large shipments of top-secret technology, some of which belonged to Tony. Tony also learned that the Mandarin was waging war on villages throughout Southeast Asia. Tony knew that it was up to him to help as Iron Man. Tony picked out the latest version of his powerful Iron Man armor and suited up. The Armored Avenger was now ready to fight injustice, and soon Iron Man blasted off into the night sky. With the use of his repulsor technology, the invincible Iron Man blasted across the sky at mock speed. At this rate, I'll reach the Far East in no time, Iron Man said to himself. Then I'll find out just what trouble this mysterious Mandarin character is causing. Little was known about how the Mandarin became so powerful. Some say, while climbing a mountain in the Valley of Spirits, he stumbled upon a spaceship. Inside the ship, he found ten <laughs> magical rings, each one containing a different, extraordinary power. When he put them on, the Mandarin was unstoppable. The ring shot fire and ice, and one even let him control people's minds. The Mandarin was now all-powerful, but instead of using his powers for good, he wanted to use them to take over the world. Soon, 
Iron Man arrived. This must be the work of the Mandarin, the Armored Avenger said, as he looked over the destroyed villages. Suddenly, the Mandarin fired a powerful beam at Iron Man, knocking him out of the sky. The Mandarin's rings began to glow and pulse with energy. You are weak just like the others, the villain said. Nothing can stop my rings of power. Not even you, Tin Man, the Mandarin taunted. The name's Iron Man, Tony yelled. And you must be the Mandarin, he said, as he raised his arms and fired two repulsive blasts right at the supervillain. I heard you were causing some trouble. I'm here to stop you, Iron Man said as he fired another blast. Fool, I will crush you into nothing, just like this village, the Mandarin yelled.
fool. Just then, the Mandarin used one of his magical rings to shoot a cold blast of ice at Iron Man. The superhero was frozen solid. Tony quickly turned up the electromagnetic energy around his suit. I've got to melt this ice before I freeze, he said. Within seconds, Iron Man burst free from the ice. But the Mandarin was ready for him and used one of his rings to shoot flames at the Armored Avenger. Then, the Mandarin used a different ring to command the winds to twist and turn Iron Man's armor. Next, the Mandarin fired a blast of plasma energy so strong that it could knock over a small building. The battle raged on. The Mandarin fired powerful blasts of heat that could melt solid rock and electric pulses that were more powerful than lightning. But the invincible Iron Man would not give up. You won't cause any more harm to innocent civilians, Iron Man yelled as he fired a mighty unibeam blast. But the invincible Iron Man would not. You won't. Knowing he had to distract Iron Man, the Mandarin fired the remaining energy from his rings at the Earth directly behind Iron Man, splitting the ground in two. The crack in the Earth began to grow, and when Iron Man turned to see where it was headed, it was already too late. A little boy who was standing near the cracked earth had fallen into the massive hole in the ground. Help! The little boy screamed as he clung to the edge. Iron Man had to act fast. With lightning speed, Iron Man swooped down into the split earth 
and grab the young boy, carrying him safely to his family. Iron Man saved the boy and the village, but the Mandarin had escaped. I have a feeling this is not the last I will see of the Mandarin, Iron Man said to himself. And next time... I will be ready. I will be ready.